Hello everyone, uh, John here from rchelicopterfun.com. I've been getting a few questions from my parallel um, LiPo charging page about maximum current flow between packs when you hook them up. Um, on that page, I state my general rule of thumb is never to have packs differ by 0.1 of a volt between packs when you hook them in parallel um, to have a safe um, a maximum amount of current flowing from one pack to the other. Obviously, the higher voltage pack is going to flow current to the lower voltage. And the example I state in there is a pack that's, you know, 80% discharged, you know, roughly um, 3.75 volts per cell to one that's in a storage state, 3.85 volts per cell. Uh, that would be pretty typical, you know, you go out flying, you've got maybe a couple of packs that are completely discharged flying or driving. Uh, and then you uh, you've got several packs that are in a storage state and you want to charge them all up to fully charge so you'd be hooking you know packs that are at 50 percent storage up to packs that are um, you know discharged uh, the greater the voltage difference obviously the bigger the current flow is going to be between them and you just have to figure out what is a safe level and goes by your max your packs maximum discharge and charge rating and for these examples I'm just going to be you know using a 1c uh, charge rate as being safe to do this test I'm just using a clamp uh, amp meter um, to check the flow you could use a, uh, a digital multimeter with a current uh, on your current setting except um, most multimeters they don't have that high of a current setting to measure this one particular one goes up to 10 amps and in our one example I'm actually going to be pushing it over that so that's why I'm using a clamp meter but uh, normally um, you could probably go on the 10 amp one and be safe if you've got a digital multimeter. I'm just going to show the pack voltages, well the cell voltages just to show you they are actually in 150 and 85 percent discharge state and we're just going to be hooking this up to a parallel board to check the current between them. Um, normally you would have this plugged into your charger, uh, this one isn't, so I've just put a little piece of uh, silicone fuel tubing over the positive lead so there's no possibility of it shorting out against the negative when I plug the packs in. So uh, first, first one, let's, let's see what, uh, what the current flow would be between two uh, packs at the same voltage, 50% uh, storage. And if we hook this up, so cell 1, 3.84, cell 2, 3.84, cell 3, 3.84, cell 4, 3.84, and cell 5, 3.83, cell 6, 3.84. Uh, kind of gives an approximate state of charge, 47%. And uh, we'll just check this one too to make sure that's kind of at the same level. And this one's saying it's 49%. 3.84, and this one's 3.8, almost 86, 3.85, 3.85, 3.85, 3.856, 3.84. So these packs are relatively identical in voltage. So we will just put a clamp meter over one of these leads, turn it to your lowest rate, which is 40 amps in this, uh, zero it out if you need to. And right now it's showing basically zero, zero amps of current flowing. Put our one pack in, and our other one. And this equalizes pretty quick, so I just want to get this set up. So as soon as I plug it in, you'll see the current reading. And we've got about, what, six amps, or sorry, 0.6 amps flowing. So 600 milliamps, we're already down to 400. 50 milliamps and uh, you know a clamp meter isn't going to be completely accurate uh, as accurate as a you know if, if you hook the multimeter up but that kind of shows you what the current flow would be between these packs that are almost pretty much equal in voltage so we'll just take this storage this one storage state pack out and we'll, we're going to hook up this 50 percent or sorry this 85 percent discharge pack Plug that in so you can see the voltage on that. 
Uh, this one's saying it's only nine, it's about 80% discharged, but cell voltage is 3.72, 3.73, 3.73, 3.73, 3.74, 7.45, 7.2. Oh, we're back at one. So, yeah, about 80, 85% discharged. And we'll see how much current this is going to flow. So to see if this is safe, your maximum discharge current, usually your fully charged pack or the pack that's higher in charge, you're not going to have to worry about um, because lipos can flow a lot more current than they can accept while charging. Uh, you know, maximum, this is a 5300 uh, milliamp hour pack. And so 5.3, they're saying safe discharge is 35C. So, you know, that's, that's a lot of amps, you know, well over 100, almost 200, I guess, 35 times 5.3. Anyway, so, yeah, this can flow a lot of current and not be damaged. What you have to worry about is your lower voltage pack, how much current is it going to take? And again, if we use the 1C safe charge rate, we wouldn't want to see this pack um, taking in any more than 5.3 amps on the meter when we plug it in. Um, that's at a 1C rate. If you wanted to go 2C, you know, it'd be 10.6. And it's not going to flow it for that long. The, the longest amount or the largest amount of current flow is going to be when you first hook it up. As the voltage equalizes, that, that current is going to drop. But let's hook this up. Um, let's turn that off. So... Plug this in and let's see what the current reads. Okay, so we're at uh, 3.7, 3.3, 3.1. Very safe. Okay, so again, that was with a pack. It's about 80, 85% discharged. Hooking it up to one that's in a 50% storage state. Very safe. About three and a half, four amps max flowing when you first hook them up. Again, that's why I say that 0 0.01 voltage difference rule per cell is, uh, is what I go by and it, it works pretty well. But let's just finish this off by doing a 100% charged pack with the 85% discharged pack. And, uh, let's plug the, 80, or the 100 in so you can see that's it's reading 98% charged, but uh, cell 4.18, cell 2 4.18. Cell 3, 1 point, almost 1 1.9, 4, 4.18, cell 5, 4.18, and cell 6, 4.1, almost 9, 4.19. So, that one's fully charged, as you can see. So we'll plug it into the balance board. And we'll hook our meter up. better so it shows up there that's probably a bit better now uh, let's see how much current flows wow look at that so we're up around 30 amps dropping sharp or dropping quite quickly as the packs equalize but originally it peaked over 30 amps flowing between the packs safe for this but 30 amps going into a discharge pack that's uh, 5,300 milliamp hours. That would be roughly what a um, six five a five uh, five C charge rate. Uh, it says the maximum charge in these is five C, but again, I always recommend, if at all possible, keep it to one C for for the maximum battery life. So you could hook a fully discharged pack up to a fully charged one and get away with it, but um, yeah, it's pushing things. And uh, just to finish off, let's just see what a 100% uh, charge pack is flowing when you hook it up to one that's 50% charged. This would be, say you had a fully charged pack and you've got some that are in a storage state. Um, you could slightly discharge your uh, fully charged pack with several that are in storage. So this is kind of at a storage. They're all going to be higher, but, you know, at least it won't be fully charged. And, um, it's a little bit healthier for the pack, obviously. 
So let's see what we've got here. Um, again, pretty good uh, voltage uh, or current. When we first plugged it in, it was around 30, but it's already dropped down to 19, 18, and as you see, it drops very quickly. So even even though that you did get that big rush of current. It's, it happens for quite a short period of time, so it probably is safe hooking a fully charged pack up to one that's, you know, 80% discharged. But, uh, again, my rule, like I said on the page, is a 0.1 volt uh, difference between the cells. And as you see, we're already down to 14 amps flowing. Uh, in this case, the storage pack is getting roughly a, what, 2.5C charge rate from the fully charged pack. And again, you're not, the current flowing from the fully charged pack is not usually the issue because LiPos can flow a lot of current. It's the input current going into the discharge pack. Is that way, that's what you have to be careful about. So that's, uh, again, I just wanted to do that little demonstration because I was getting a few questions on, on current flow between packs and what is considered safe, how do you check it? This is how you do it. Stay within that 0.1 volt uh, difference between cells and you should be good. Thanks for watching folks.